This is Writer's Talk with the New York Times. My name is Katherine Kutenbrauer. I'm the creator of the course and also your instructor this term. Um, I just first want to introduce the books we'll be looking at this term. First we'll have a look at Lydia, Lydia Millet's My Happy Life. Then we'll have a look at Andrew Piper's The Killing Circle. Uh, then we'll have a look at Golden Grove by Francine Prose. I might also dip in a little bit to Francine Prose's wonderful um, sort of writing primer called Reading Like a Writer. Uh, brilliant, brilliant book. And, um, and then we'll have a look at the novel Cruddy by Linda Berry. Linda Berry's a cartoonist and illustrator. Um, she's also written a book about writing and her approach to writing called What It Is and I just wanted to show you that. I might talk about that a little bit because we'll be talking about illustration and it. it's a very interesting book. There's no need for you to purchase um, the, the, the writing books by Francine Prose and Linda Berry but they're recommended not for the course but just generally speaking. So Linda Berry's book is really fun. It's full of illustrations as you can see. Um, she's got a wild mind, and I think she'll be really fun to to meet at the end of the at the end of the course. So she's coming in week six, seven. Um, I should say too that because we are looking at four novels this term, and we only have an eight week course, um, we and we also have a New York Times person coming in to speak to us in the last week about the future of publishing and um, and media and publicity and whatnot. Um, it leaves us only seven weeks. So our, generally speaking, when I do a novel, I, I leave two weeks for it. But we won't be able to do that this term because we only have seven weeks and we have four novels. So what I'm doing is skewing the weeks a little bit. Because the course takes place online, it doesn't really take place in real time like an in-class uh, course would. So we'll still have the full two weeks or even more to, to discuss the books. Um, and they'll just be overlap with the, with, the, with the text as we go through. So two weeks for each book um, and each week a, a separate topic. So we'll be looking at a particular aspect of craft in each week for each book. Um, I hope that ma makes sense, but if it doesn't, it will when the course opens up. You'll see how it's all set up. Um, now, what else do I need to talk about? Oh, I know. Um, certificate students. Some of you may be registered for the Certificate in Creative Writing with the University of Toronto, and some of you may wish to get more information about that. I can help you with that. We'll do that online when the course opens. But generally speaking, if you're a certificate student, the... Um, the process for grading is pass-fail honours. Mostly students fall into a pass category. It's a pretty wide category. Um, in order to get an honours, you have to get 90 or above, so people seldom fall into that category, although occasionally they do. The fail category rarely happens, and that's because if I feel that you're falling into that category, I'll let you know, and generally speaking, what happens is that socks are pulled up and we move on and you pass. So um, I'm hoping I don't ever get to the point where I have to fail a student in creative writing. That seems like a heinous thing to do. Um, so what you need to do as a certificate student in this course in order to get a pass or an honours grade is you have to complete three of the assignments. There are seven. Uh, you only have to complete three. You may complete more if you like, but you do not need to. Um, you need to comment on the assignments that other people uh, post and you need to also participate in all the discussions. You also need to workshop one piece of personal work that's um, something that you're working on that isn't an assignment, so your own private work that you'd, you'd like to have people look at. And of course you also need to comment on the uh, workshops that other people post. We'll talk about that a little bit more in text in the course when it opens. Um, now, if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting, that can be arranged. There are two places inside the Epsilon environment for that. One is called chat and that's an instant messaging uh, area and the other is called live, live classroom and that's a video conferencing. So either of those two places are good places to meet to have a, a you know pithy conversation with me or a face-to-face -face in the video conferencing um, uh, area of the of the course is, is kind of handy if you want to see me in my reaction and have what feels like a real a real proper meeting um, so you can just let me know and we'll organize that if that's what you like when the course opens there's um, 
there's a, a place right away for self-introduction. So ideally you all introduce yourselves and so do I, and we get to know one another and we sort out any basic questions that we have. The environment itself is a little awkward for some people initially, but usually by the end of the week, first week, everyone's on board and uh, problems are kind of ironed out. So I hope that that gives you a good introduction introduction to the course and I'm really looking forward to meeting you all. I think it's going to be a stellar, stellar course. We have a really, really great lineup. Um, two of the, well really all four of the writers have also taught, um, but Prose and, Pros and Barry particularly uh, are really interested in education so I think they'll have a lot to offer the course and um, I'm pretty excited that they've agreed to participate. So welcome and um, I look forward to meeting you.